What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and this video is going to be about two Glocks, not brand new Glocks, nothing special about them, just two Glocks that are great for everyday carry, going to be reliable, going to be very easy to carry regardless of what time of year it is, stuff like that, and we're going to be talking about the Glock 42, chamber in 380 ACP, and the Glock 43, chamber in 9mm. Now a lot of people get it wrong, they do think they are the same size and stuff like that, we're going to get into it, um, but before we get started... Drop a comment down below for the algorithms. I don't care what you put. Literally put anything you want. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And we're going to get started. So the Glock 42 is my most recent Glock pickup. And even though it's older and, you know, a lot of people talk down on 380, I'm actually really liking it. And it's because it's a basically a pocket pistol from Glock. It is Glock's smallest offering. It is Glock's smallest Glock. Now, like I said, it's chamber in 380 ACP. But this setup right here with the Strike Industries plus two base plate ends up being 8 plus 1. It gives you a full grip. It's going to be thinner than the Glock 43, thinner than the 43X, much lighter than both of them, and you're going to still have all that aftermarket support. You're going to have holsters, you're going to have all the different sights, you're going to literally have anything you want. The grips, it's, it's a Glock, right? But what I really like about this, like I said, is I like pocket pistols. I like the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard. Um, I like the Taurus Spectrum. I like stuff like that because it's very, very easy. It's easy to go outside on a walk. It's easy to go to the park. It's easy to literally do anything with a pocket pistol. But at the same time, you're keeping peace of mind that you have something on you that you can protect yourself with. And it can never hurt to throw a backup mag in the pocket or, you know, in a backup holster um, for your magazine, right? Magazine pouch. But what I noticed about this is there's very, very little recoil. And for something like summer carry or even fall carry, as long as you carry with the right ammo with 380, you're going to be just fine. Trust me. Like I said in many videos, 82% of all self-defense encounters, a round is not fired. You literally just have to present your firearm or say you have one on you and the threat basically ends. That's 82% of the time. But for that 18% of the time, you want good defensive ammo. I trust Underwood Extreme Defenders. They're a solid projectile. They sort of look like a, um, a screwdriver head, right? And what I like about them is they're fast. They're lighter than your average round, and they're going to penetrate. And now they don't open up like a hollow point, but at the same time, the size of them is already a pretty decent size, so you get really good ballistics behind it for being a 380. Now, an 8 plus 1 setup, 9 rounds, you're going to be just fine in 99% of all self-defense encounters, so I don't have an issue. But like I said, the number one benefit of this is the weight. The weight is so, it's so light, and with a flush mag, it's so tiny, it's so easy to throw in the, in the pocket, it's, throw e it's so easy to throw in a jacket. Let's say you're running out the door real quick, you're, you're late to an event with the kids, boom, grab the Glock 42, throw it in your pocket, you're good. You know, it's very simple, stuff like that. And on top of that, it's pretty cheap. They go for about $350 to $400 and you're getting Glock reliability. You know it's going to go bang basically every single time. Absolutely love this thing. Now the Glock 43. I love the Glock 43. Obviously, the biggest hit is the Glock 43X. People love it because of the, you know the capacity. They like the ergonomics behind it. I really like the ergonomics behind the Glock 43X. I think it feels basically perfect, right? But the problem for me is that grip comes out to here, right? I should have grabbed my 43X. So this is a Glock 43. This is an 8 plus 1 setup of 9mm. So a lot of people trust 9mm more. Obviously, this is going to have a little bit more snap than the 42, but the Glock 43 isn't hard to shoot. It's not hard to get used to. And honestly, I think the slim line Glocks, the Glock 42, 43, 43X, and 48, I think they have the best triggers out of all Glocks. I don't know what it is, but all my slim lines have better triggers, even better triggers than the Gen 5s. So they do make Shield Arms mags for the Glock 43, but do not trust them. Trust me, I've ran them multiple times. I've gotten replacement springs, and it's nice having 9 plus 1 in a setup about that goes to there, just a little further than this 8-round mag, um, but they're unreliable. You just cannot trust your life with them. So I go with the Mag Guts kit, which is what this is, 8 plus 1. So 9 rounds of 9mm, once again, good defensive ammo. I even have a light on this one. So what I use this for is basically... You know, this used to be a, a dog walking gun or going to the mailbox or, you know, you have to make a trip. You know, you I don't go outside at night a lot. I don't go out and do a lot at night. But if I have to, I'm grabbing something like this. Yes, it doesn't have a rail, but the TLR-6 is enough for most situations. Once again, this is just something you know you're not going to somewhere that's going to be dangerous or potentially a, um, a place that will have more trouble and stuff like that. It's just something to, you know, basically 
make you feel okay, make you feel like you have something on you um, that you can defend yourself. But both have been 100% reliable. I think I like the Glock 43 better because I think it's a little bit more versatile. There's a lot more out there for it. And it's a 9mm round, which is a big step up from 380. Even though 380 can get the job done, I think for the size difference and stuff like that, the Glock 43 is definitely worth it and the way to the go. But there is nothing wrong with my Glock 42. And actually, I've been carrying my Glock 42 a lot lately. Let's check that out right there. So as you can see, the Glock 42 is overall just a little thinner, a little shorter. But for 8 plus 1, it's a little longer in this setup right here. But this is using a factory um, spring, just a different base plate. This is using a Mad Guts conversion kit. But once again, you can get the Glock 43 for $400 to $450. It's going to go bang every single time. Another thing that people like the Glock 42 for, or for women, a lot of people like to carry this, or if you're recoil sensitive, if you have any hand issues, um, you know, after surgeries, I carried a 380 for a long time. That was my go-to. I was just worried about recoil and messing up my hands after those surgeries. So I carried the 380 round. Um, I knew it would have less recoil. I know it would be less damaging if I potentially had to use it. But at the same time, I knew with the right shot placement, with the right ammo, I'm going to be just fine. So the Glock 42 is an awesome way to go. As you can see, you don't have to put much into them. The, this, these are not, you know, gunfight firearms. These are just get-off-me guns, self-defense firearms, backups, pocket pistols. But like I said, you could literally carry this year-round. 8 plus 1 and 9mm is going to be just enough. Has a light on it. Just a great overall firearm. Now, originally I built this for the Shield Arms mag testing. I thought if you have a 9 plus 1 with Shield Arms mags, this is going to be huge because now it's going to be 10 rounds. Very comparable to P365, the Hellcat, stuff like that. But they were unsuccessful at making reliable mags. So 8 plus 1 is about the most you're going to get out of the Glock 43. And I get for a lot of people... That is a problem. Basically, it is so much thinner than all these other firearms out here. Let's get a Glock, or sorry, a SIG P365. See how much thinner in the grip? And that's where a lot of people have a hard time concealing stuff. But you are not going to have a hard time concealing these firearms. They're going to be very easy, but they're going to be reliable. And like I said, 82% of the time, all you have to do is announce you have a firearm or show it. Awesome firearms to go with. Um, I think super underrated, and I think a lot of people nowadays are meant to feel like these are not enough, and I just don't get that. I don't subscribe to that. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. They're both great firearms. Flip a coin. Thanks for watching.